moving forward, what are we going to do? Well, we have some interesting opportunities, north and east. Do we still have a truth with this guy? Yes, we do. But we can force vassalization once that's up. Or just throw our did you claim in there and be done with it as it is. But we can force him and him into becoming our vassals. And I believe we should definitely go do that. So he's a little bit stronger, but not by much. He's not terrible. So we're going to go against him as first. We offer, he doesn't care. Let's see if we offer, also doesn't care. So let's go take this guy. He's going to be joined by Gwynd. But well, that's fine, because we got our trusty, trusty tributaries. We are definitely going to join in this war. We're going to call our vassals, of course. Just in case someone decides to be part of this. But we're definitely going to call our friends here. 100%. Calling our friends in our very bestest bestest friends I can offer him vassalization he's probably not going to take it either though these two interestingly enough are actually part of my realm so I have a legitimate claim for them to be my vassals so this might work but first we need to be done with the war look at this isn't it lovely And the Queen of Force leads the most troops, I'm sorry. But that is how this goes. And we're going to fight them here. Because they... Well, they get the hills, but... It won't save them. Good, and just as before... We're going to have... The sieges divvied up. A little bit. So everything were besieged. Ireland needs to grow. So grow it shall. Now, he's stuck. He will not be able to move past any of these armies. They're all too big to, for him to fight. That's the power of tributaries there for you. You will have to walk all the way around this little blockade that we built. Or, you know, send this guy to do his dirty work. Speaking of sending guys to do their dirty work. We might actually send our own troops down there. Let's have one more army from up there down here. And let's go fight. Because I am not a fan of that. I do not appreciate him fighting me on my own territory. Let's check everyone is where they're supposed to be. And so they are. Flank immediately crushed. The queen is an absolute beast on the battlefield. I tell you. Well, unless it's in duels. But apart from that, beast mode 2020. Let's go and mess him up. All right, okay. Call to arms against King Ale of Wessex. I shall accept. Is this him? Is this the guy who's hitting you? Let's abandon our own war. Well, was, what do I say, abandon? Let's win our own war. There we go. And we could attack probably them. For this. All these nice opportunities. Oop. 
Oop, okay. So what I didn't see was there was a second army hiding down in the shadows here. So what we're currently doing isn't all that great of an idea. We're facing an overwhelming force against a river crossing. So let's see how this plays out. There's a chance, but it's very slim. I doubt that we're going to win this. Especially since my flanks are very uneven in their strength and numbers. If they were all fairly even, then it would be fine. And we would have a chance, but this way. No dice. So we're going to be beaten here. Which is fine. It happens sometimes. You can't prevent it every single time. I was too cocky here. I didn't think. So I'm basically losing our ally this war. Whoopsie. Let's recall our troops entirely. Oh cool, so there's some troops I can send him. We can have those, but everyone else needs to go back because we need to replenish. Rebuild. You can have the 300. For now, and I'll bring up new troops. All right, you want to arrange a marriage with my niece. Can't she be something more interesting? Definitely. Go away. Yes, he was a king, but he's in Bavaria. He's never going to come to help us with anything. We'd rather have some good Welsh stock. So let's have this. So we get a few more alliances here. Not that we absolutely need them, but it's better to have them than not. Alright, our retinue was really harshly reduced there. That's why you generally try not to bring them into battle. They tend to die. And that's not great for anyone. So we're going to upgrade all of these so they convert to something once we adopt feudalism. Because I'm hoping strongly to keep these. Quite strongly. So we'll spend... Where did our prestige go though? Didn't we have like 1500 or something? What did I do with it? Hmm. Oh well. Can't be helped. Ooh. Pope Nicholas has dispatched a group of prominent theologians to initiate peaceful dialogue with the heretics in Ulad. Which is somewhere here. See, if we look at the religion thing, we see there's the Lollard heresy and the Fraticelli heresy. We could go ahead, take our, our court chaplain and go convert those heretics. That's probably not the worst idea. Because they can cause trouble, like revolts and things like that. We don't want revolts on our hands. So we're going to replenish our troops before we do anything else. We are fairly strong, but uh, not if we go lose battles like we did just now. Look at that. Oh boy. That really did him in. I'm so sorry, my friend. I contributed 75% to the war and was all terrible. All terrible. Does he hate me for it? He should. He really should hate me for it. Nope. What? Am I frail? Oh yeah, I'm frail. Well, she's really badass for being frail, let me tell you. She is amazing for being frail. Let's check our retinue. 
Well, I think we need to have some more new troops being rebuilt in the background there. Not entirely sure to how much I'm going up there currently, but doesn't matter all that much. We just want them. Actually, we can't speed this up because right now we're just waiting for things to kind of settle. Our warriors are fighting against some rebels that rose against the guy they're fighting against. Lots of fighting going on. Oh, looky here. My kinswoman has become a brilliant strategist. My former ward, Kandal, has finished her education. In our final discussions, we talked about the following of the rule of St. Augustine and trying to improve oneself in the eyes of God. I've tried to encourage her to do this for herself, and she has attempted to take my advice. I wonder if she made any progress. I shall ask her how well it is going. She came and told me all about how she was strived to follow the rule of St. Augustine and become a better woman. She talks vigorously of all her prayers and time spent doing penance. Well, she loses the trait greedy. But she's ambitious. She, she's actually not bad um, as a wife. She's not bad. Let's see. Um, she, she would be a good wife for one of our... One of our... Not vassals, but one of our commanders. That's the word. I'm looking for a commander. Of which we need to appoint some. Anyway. So we shall. Appoint more commanders. And... Let's see if there's anyone unmarried. Him. Let's marry them. If we can't find her, there she is. She's an inspiring leader. She's great. And we can have it be matrilineal. So we don't lose anything here. Let's let's have that be done. So that's great. He thinks more of me already. So despite our severe blunder there, our ally is doing quite well. And now we can put our husband back on the council but we're not gonna <laughs> he's not a great spy really and we'd rather have a good spy that dies while doing something sensible for us let's put him anywhere really let's put him with the Saxons let's see what they can teach us all right so our troops are slowly but surely replenishing and we could go and help. There are many mysteries in the Catholic faith. I might be interesting to spend some time delving into the old text of the Bible. I will dedicate more time to reading the scriptures. Yes, I shall. Let's have her stop leading armies for now. I think she should dedicate her time to God. And we have enough competent leaders. So we don't have a need for her, really. So we'll put him in the center. And him on this flank. Are you married? Yes, he's a genius. So a genius trait might pass into my kin. Uh, so that, that's really good. How do we get a bloodline? How, how, how? <laughs> Right, okay. I am bringing Sebdon to the local monastery today, who is... someone. No idea. There she meets with many brothers and sisters, doing penance. We greet her politely. As we leave the monastery, my acquaintance says, Go with God to all those she meets today. I'm very proud of her attitude towards Saint Dominic. So, she has a chance to gain some attributes. Alright. Okay, the Dominican Order is in need of more funds to maintain charitable functions. We hope you are able to spare some of your worldly wealth to help us on your mission. So, we might go and donate to charity, which is something over here. 
Uh, donate to charity. We would donate 100 gold, gain 200 devotion, some monthly piety, and we have a chance to become the charitable. And he's very happy. We have his thanks. We are not the charitable, which is a shame. And soon we will be able to move up in this rank. Doesn't really... There. 750. We need 120 more devotion to rank up in the society and become chaste. Ooh. My wish to become a better Catholic has led me to the rule of St. Augustine. As I have followed his holy path, I have noticed that my sense of ego and need of recognition has all but vanished. This change has helped me focus on things which really matter. So we are now a humble, humble, humble person. Praise be God. In the past few months, you have been spending many nights reading the Bible. The texts contain many items of wisdom and also give hints to the most important mystery of God. So we are now illuminated. And we have religious studies under our belt. All right. Um, we're doing well here. Our troops are pretty replenished, but I'd like to see my retinue up and running, honestly. Well, I've decided to take my kinswoman to go and uh, hear her, have her hear me preach, uh, preach, not preach. Bevan is attentive throughout, and I'm sure she has learned some valuable lessons. Very good. There you go. All right, my spy master would like some additional funds. Let's have it. We can afford it. Some alliance is going on. The Irish warriors were beaten. Shame. I don't think we're going to go back there ever. Like this war is sort of lost. We'll leave our Irish warriors there, but nah. We ain't gonna go help. Oh wow. As I entered the gates, I was greeted by a large barking dog. My horse was frightened and started to rear. I was just about to draw my blade and slay the beast when I saw my spy master Beldrick come running shouting, Bad dog! This is our friend that we are supposed to protect! The dog then stopped barking and rolled around placidly on its back. Good dog. So we now have a guard, guard dog who doesn't seem to have a limit in how long we can have him. So that's really cool. Quite strong. All right, our kinsman, who we should probably have marry someone sensible. Someone who has good traits. Let's see, maybe a genius. There's a genius. That's them, Mary. He's an excellent student. Oh, perfect. Lots of things happening at once here. Today I was approached by my niece, Caitlin. She was told... No, she has told me that she has grown increasingly concerned by my eating habits. She thinks that I've gained quite a bit of weight. Well, maybe I have. So, let's listen to her advice. Um... Okay, we have two choices here. The day, day after day, I've pursued the teachings of God, forsaking all excesses and temptations. I may have grown pale and frail, yet I feel that my spirit grows stronger and purer at each new hour I spend in devout abstinence. I've long since come to relish in the cramps and growls coming daily from my stomach. So we might become malnourished, which just gives us less fertili uh, fertility and combat skill, which is fine by us because our piety and vassal opinion goes up. Um, so 
yeah, let's let's have that. It's it's fine. We don't need fertility. It doesn't affect our health, which feels a little bit inaccurate. All right. So now we can go up in a rank here, which is going to be granted. I've never seen that not being granted. Phi 3 came into my room this morning to speak of me of uh, my health. Okay. So. All right. He has a point. So we lose a little bit for a little while and restless prayers will be removed. Does restless player prayers do something for me? Where is it? Restless prayers. Can we live without these for a few years? No, we can't. He shall stick his nose elsewhere. Oh god. I might die of this. Right, okay, so I've become Oblatus in the Dominican Order. Meaning... Meaning... <laughs> the theologians dispatched to Ulda uh, by the Pope are returning with their tails between their legs. Well, lovely. It has been quite some time since I returned to my bedroom to sleep regularly. I've been informed that several people at my court are worried about me that I'm going insane in my library, but they simply do not understand how imperative it is for me to continue my research. My frail decaying body is a small price to pay. <laughs> I gain two learning. Oh boy. Okay. So my steward has passed. Chance to put a new one. And it's going to be... Our decent commander, honestly. I guess he's good as many things. Let's have him collect our taxes for a while, or rather, build our legend. Okay. So, there we go. We're going to go take a vow of celibacy. Praise God. So now we are celibate, which is this gives us piety Christian church opinion same trait opinion but lustful they don't like it so the war I was supposed to help out in didn't go as planned whoops again so he's not going to become our vassal willingly fine by us Let's hope we survive a little bit through our frailty. It is really just hope at this point. 